Well, good morning, kids. Pastor Al here. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. Well, I don't have a dog video f for you this morning, but don't dismay yet. You know, I show these videos in church on Sunday morning, and I do have some people that kind of demand, well, not demand, but request that I give some equal time for cats. And uh, because I'm just a nice guy, I thought I would show you a nice little cat video that I think demonstrates the real brilliance and intelligence of cats. Yeah, cats and water, not such a good mix, is it? Cats really don't like water. Although one cat did a decent job of swimming there. Um, and, and these cats just basically did stupid things. Shouldn't have went after a fish in a fish tank. Shouldn't have jumped in the water. Shouldn't have got freaked out. Now, other than just, it's always fun to watch an amusing video of cats making fools of themselves. Why am I showing you this? Well, there's a little bit of a lesson in here is that there are always things in our life that are not good for us. And the best way to have them not mess with us is to stay away. Those cats just decided they'd stay away from water. They'd have been just fine. Unfortunately, in our life, we kind of deal with the same things. We know in each of our lives, and you'll see this more and more as you get older, that there are things that are just not good for us. And it would be great if we all had this incredible willpower just to never let them affect us. But sometimes the best thing to do is just to stay away. It's not a great example, but, you know, I really, really, really love donuts. And I really, really, really should not eat donuts. They're not good for me at all. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. No matter how much I know that, and no matter how strong my willpower is, if I walk into a donut shop, I'm buying a donut, and I'm lucky if I only buy one. Now, there are other times in your life where this is a little more serious. I remember in high school, I had a friend who had a friend who on occasion we went around and do things together, and whenever we were with my friend's friend, we always did something that we shouldn't. We got into mischief. We got into trouble. And I, I realized that if I wanted to stay away from that, I had to stay away from my friend's friend. So whenever my friend was going out and the other guy was invited along, I learned that I just didn't go, even though it would have been more fun going out and monkeying around with my friends than staying home and doing nothing. One of the things that God wants us to do is always do the right thing. And we're not always strong enough to do the right thing. But one of the things that will make it helpful for you in your life is to find those things that you know God doesn't want you to do and do the best you can just to stay away. You don't always have to rely on willpower. Sometimes you just have to rely on intelligence and make good decisions. So remember, friends, don't be the cat in the water. Stay away from the things that are bad for you. And that'll be good for you and for your relationship with God and, quite frankly, for everybody else in your life. Because when you make mistakes that hurt you, it doesn't just hurt you. Hey, have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.